Now your microclimate forecast presented by Bill Howe. Here's meteorologist Sean Stiles. All right, let's talk about that weather we have here, Sean. Pretty gorgeous, but the wind and dry conditions are cause for concern. They are, and fortunately it looks like there is some changes coming that will alleviate the drier conditions and even a shot of some rain. Not mm -hmm. a lot. It's not going to make a, a big soaker, but certainly it could affect our commute come Thursday night. As far as temperatures outside tonight, we're seeing a pretty good cool down. Here's what you can expect for tomorrow morning when you wake up. We're talking about mid 40s in the inland microclimate locations and our daytime highs nowhere near where we've been over the past couple days. We're talking about a 63 tomorrow coastal. If you recall just a moment ago, we showed you it was a 75 for San Diego International today. So 12, 13 degrees cooler. The same goes for the inland microclimates. We're talking 18, 19 degrees cooler. It was 81 in places like Poway today, 45 and then 34 in the mountains. So chilly overnight and it is chilly right now. 34 in Ramona, 44 in Alpine, 38 in Poway. You head up into the Fallbrook area. You're also at 48 out in the deserts, 43 in Borrego, 34 in Campo. Carlsbad 49, 47 in Chula Vista and currently in downtown San Diego. We're at 51 humidity at 86% winds are calm. So the winds are dying. The humidity is coming back into the atmosphere. So the problems with any type of fire danger should be alleviated. Cooler and cooler and cloudy tomorrow. And then we've got a 10th of a inch of rain possible west of the mountains on Thursday. Uh, this will be in and out of here pretty quick and then things warm up for the weekend. The first signs of some clouds starting to come in. This isn't really the front though. It's well to the north of us because the jet stream is going to bring this low, dig it down right into central California and eventually push in across the southern part of the state and into Arizona. Here's the low as it sits offshore. This has brought heavy snow into the Cascades of Washington and Oregon, especially though around Mount Baker where they've seen over 48 inches of snow in the past 36 hours. That's a whole lot of snow. Watch the lows. It digs into California, brings the rain into San Francisco, down into the central Sierra, anywhere from about two to six inches in the Sierra Nevada. Locally, San Bernardino's maybe an inch or two of snow, snow levels above 6,000 feet. So Thursday morning, cloudy, spotty, eh, but then watch as the commute takes place right around 4 35 o'clock in the evening. We see a pretty good shot of rain, but then it pushes right on out of here and we dry out as we get towards the weekend. So tomorrow cooler, the rain arrives on Thursday. We dry out on Friday. The weekend looks great, both coast inland and for you folks in the mountains, you're looking at cool conditions, but dry and no snow in our mountains. The deserts, I don't think we'll see any rain out there, but they've had plenty leading up to this. So I'm thinking a pretty good flower season heading our way. And mm. as I said earlier, uh, it looks like after the 20th of January, maybe some bigger stuff heading our way, but we'll talk about that later. At least there's a chance of it coming, right? Yeah. There's a big chance. We, we want the break, but we don't want it to stop. No. I'm already thinking a few months down the road now and you doing a live shot from the ranunculus in Carlsbad. If you're talking like about it. a nice flower Let's season, go. gorgeous.